reflecting on the power and purpose of this day, this scripture fell into my spirit. Please let me share it with you. Romans 8, 35 through 39, according to the message, St. Paul writes, So what do you think? With God on our side like this, how can we lose? If God didn't hesitate to put everything on the line for us, embracing our condition and exposing himself to the worst by sending his own son, is there anything else God wouldn't gladly and freely do for us? And who would dare tangle with God by messing with one of God's chosen? Who would dare even to point a finger? The one who has died for us, who was raised to life for us, is in the presence of God at this very moment sticking up for us. Do you think anyone is going to be able to drive a wedge between us and Christ's love for us? There's no way. Not trouble, not hard times, not hatred, not hunger, not homelessness, not bullying threats, not backstabbing, not even the worst sins listed in scripture. None of this phases us because Jesus loves us. I'm absolutely convinced that nothing, nothing living or dead, angelic or demonic today, or tomorrow, high or low, thinkable or unthinkable. Absolutely nothing can come between us and God's love because of the way that Jesus, our master, has embraced us. This is the word of the Lord. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Easter blessings to you all. Beloved, let us give thanks for Jesus, his selfless act and deep love for each of us as we enter this Easter season. Join me in celebrating this miracle of Christ's resurrection that we might be reconciled to God, have forgiveness of sin, the gift of eternal life, and the opportunity to live as disciples doing God's work with our hands to build the kingdom and be the beloved community. My prayer for each of you in this season of Easter. May God fill your life with comfort, peace, harmony, love, and abundant joy that you might willingly share that joy with all of those that God places in your path. Love always and always love in Christ. God bless you.